In this tutorial, we'll talk a bit about data mapping and data filtering. We've touched on these concepts in earlier videos, but today we're going to look specifically at using visual coding to perform advanced mapping and advanced filtering of your data. We're going to be building on concepts and an example app from previous videos on data, so we recommend you watch those first if you haven't yet. Now, let's say we want to modify the data shown in the list on this page according to some custom rules. The easiest way to accomplish this is through advanced mapping, which is essentially a visual coding script that's run once for every item in the data collection. Let's say for some reason we want to replace all phone numbers that are 001 to instead say secret number. We'll need to head to the data tab, then edit the mapping property of our binding one data object. Now hit the advanced button to create a visual coding script. Now we can create a script that will be executed once for every item in this collection. All properties on both our source and our target model will be available for us and we may update the target model fields with whatever data we like. The data we update the target model to will be the data that's shown in our list. So let's start by checking if the current phone number is equal to 001 by using a condition if coding block. As you can see, we have quite a few different values to choose from. First, we have all fields from the source model named from.name, from.phone number, and so on. Then we have the fields from the target model named to.id, to.left icon, and so on. To check if the phone number is equal to zero, I'll therefore use the from.phone number as the first value, and then 001 as the second value. Now if they're equal, then I could set the value of field 2 in the target model to a static text by using the string copy code block. I'll go ahead and set the text we want to display, secret number, to the 2.text2 field. Just to make things a little bit better looking, let's add an image to the list for all items where the phone number isn't 001. Once again, I'll use a string copy coding block. Since we want this to occur only for numbers that are not 001, I'll go ahead and attach this block to the not equal output from the previous block. I'm going to manually set a value for the from argument by double clicking it and adding the value phone.svg, which is the name of a file I uploaded to my app earlier. Now I'll map the to argument to left image. Now let's close the windows we're working in and save our page. As you can see, the list is now updated with the new data mapping, where 001 numbers have been replaced with the words secret number, and a phone image accompanies the rows that have a different phone number. Advanced mapping can also be used to filter data. This is easily done by setting the to.id field to the value ignore, if you want an item to not be copied to the new collection. Let's try this by instead of updating 001 to secret number, simply just hiding these objects from the list. Let's go back to our data tab, click edit mapping, and then click advanced again. Now we'll update the string copy coding block by double clicking the block and setting ignore to the to.id field. This will make items that have 001 as a phone number simply be ignored and not included in the list. Let's close the windows and check it out. Boom, there we go. Just the item with the non-001 phone number is left in the list. That's it. As you can see, Mastering data mapping and filtering can open up a world of possibilities for how your components and pages can interact with data in Acuro.